it does have a couple of actually a bunch of stiff links I can imagine under load it could be this is where our power went maybe it suddenly got super bad well doesn't matter we've got a new chain and a new sprocket but it's much shorter we might have to modify a little bit here too so that the pipe doesn't hit the secondary chain I ground these in situ, so they're a little bit hard to get on there again. My grease catcher thing is broken, I'll see if I can find a piece of foam that'll fit. Replacing it with Pulini racing foam for that extra racing feeling. I should add all all six, but uh, keep low tension on them. Now we'll have to do some trickery here because uh, we need to move the engine much, much closer. I really should get one of those chain tools meant for this, but uh, if I'm careful, this should be good enough. I mean the, the chain tools pretty much do the same thing as, as the press. I wish 219 chain chain links, master links were more uh, common. Might be a reason they're not. I have a second chain, so I'll split that up too. So the thing is, there's not, not enough clearance in my frame for the this short of a chain. I need a little bit, a slight bit longer. That, now that link should, should be still nice and free. And it is, there's no weirdness and it looks to be pressed at the same depth as the, the other ones. So now we can see how long we want this chain and uh, cut and do the last bit. That, I could have made this a little bit shorter, but then the pipe would be in danger of uh, being smacked by the other chain. I think this is uh, good and hopefully the less worn out chain will make things a little bit better and shorter chain is uh, also not a bad thing so last last little bit of fuel left half a liter New chain, no resistor in the plug cap. So this will be like a baseline, but also to see if the chain has been causing the power loss all along. Could be, like it's fairly, it was fairly stiff and weird and stretched and yeah, so this is brand new. So we'll see. 
and brand new sprocket, same ratio. Carb is facing the other way now, so that could make a difference. Mother is a U-turn, earlier it was kind of an S. Um, <laughs> of course that could make a difference, but there's no room now for the carb facing the, the usual way. I don't think that'll, of course that could make a difference. So it's two weeks later, I took a little time off from the garage to uh, heal my eyes, which were burning and itching and just runny and and I thought maybe it was uh, my cat, but uh, it got better, so I'm not, it's not conclusive, but it might be some something out here that started doing that to my eyes. They're fine now, they're good. The engine is good too. I'm not sure, I can't remember what I said, if I even recorded uh, after the dyno run two weeks ago. Also, during my little time off to heal my eyes, I, uh, I, I felt the urge to do some computer, computer security uh, research again and kind of got obsessed with, uh, with that. And I know myself well enough to, when I feel, start obsessing about something, it's best to just let that flow, because <laughs> I'll learn so much. And um, I'm not sure what I, well, anything you'll learn from, like any experience will benefit everything else in a way. So it's probably a good thing. And maybe as a retirement plan, like a ransomware retirement plan, no. It seems like the engine is still producing the 32 horsepower. The thing is we, it was probably running a little rich during that dyno test now. And that's why when uh, it heated up, we lost power like 31.31, then 30.88 and 30.56. Earlier, it's been pretty much consistent, like the first run has been the lowest, the second one has been the best, and the third has been a slight bit less power than the second one. I'm out of fuel, and even though there's ways to get, get more fuel in pretty large quantities, I think I'm not gonna risk it. We're talking a uh, two to six year vacation for getting caught with stuff like that, so I think for now, we're gonna do some gas testing. And I've already prepared this carb, a 30 millimeter PWK clone for, um, for gas. There's a 130 main jet in here, which I think would be in the ballpark. So gas testing, that's what's gonna happen now. How much power can we see on gas? And in theory, will my little Hypo hypothesis is that as that pipe is well the as the port area in the cylinder is can support lots of horsepower at high rpm because there's so much area and with the cooler exhaust gases from the methanol making the pipe work at a lower rpm range i think we might see we might not lose that much power going to gas now and we could gain a heaps more power with a shorter pipe on the nitro fuel, maybe. We'll see, we'll see now. So gas carb. 
And I forgot to put the 16 mm stinger back into the pipe. The 32 plus horsepower runs were done with a 16 mm stinger. Now there's a 17 in there. So that might be the little power loss. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Success. So now just normal premium pump gas. We've been running the obscure like 25, 30 degrees at peak power ignition curve with the nitro uh, fuel. And now we're back to our starting point here will be uh, typical normal two-stroke curve. So it has uh, 15 degrees of advance at uh, 17,000, which should be around the uh, power peak, we'll see. Could be, we have to shift that a little bit. And uh, 30 down, 30 from four to 10K, and then it starts dropping. I'm not sure where the power band starts now, probably closer to 12, maybe even 14, we'll see. I gotta go get some more uh, fuel for my heater, because it's getting pretty cold out here. It's, uh, it's 10 below zero outside now, and closing in on that in the garage fast every time I turn the heater off. So we're gonna, but we're gonna start up the engine and just see, make sure it works. On gas, it should. See that it, it's fairly jetted, fairly okay. And tomorrow morning we'll do the start the testing. So let's see here. Sounds promising indeed. I think there's an exhaust leak here. Could have been just blowback. We do have time for uh, a little test here. I can't reheat the garage back up after the temperature it's sitting at now. So this will be it. It's not that cold in here yet. So let's see, let's get a baseline today. Fuel on. 17 millimeter stinger for this first test, which is uh, it's safer than 16. So let's go with that now, initial test. Immediately clocked in 26 horsepower with a random jet in there, unconfirmed timing numbers, and a 17 millimeter, probably too large stinger. It quickly dropped to 25 for that second run. The graphs, they're, they're uh, like this, and that's probably vibration and uh, fueling cause of how the... I might want to do a remote float setup for for this too, but uh, success, success, and uh, and everything's working like it should work. Like now we have the hotter burning fuel, and the power band is shifted a lot. First confirmed timing. We really should get at least the EGT probe. We need an EGT probe. We're gonna confirm timing, and we're gonna try the smaller stinger tomorrow. 